Hi guys, how is your style coming? Are you on top of your game? Well, today's episode of Star Review with Kiki is going to be about upping that game and I want to make sure that your style is in check because you already know that when the moment that check do bounce, that's the cause was the fashion shock show. But guess what guys, I do not want to see you on the shock show, I'd rather have you on Star Review. Welcome to you, another exciting episode. In case you are needing a pencil or a viral or a jotter, begin to jot things down because this episode is about to become very glorious. You'll be picking amazing style trends that will take your style from point A to point Z. Yes, I said Z. The first thing is going to be rose print. So, guys, it's 2020 and your print game should be according to style. That's our trend. So, now the rose print is in trend and it is beautiful. We have different designers from luxury to premium to commercial brands doing this print in different designs. Now, as Africans, we already have a short course to the rose print and that is what Ankara. We have a million Ankara prints in rose and guess what? You are the bomb bomb of the soup, so tell me why you are lacking the spice inside of it. Jump on that trend and you will be as stylish, as fashionable and as trendable as possible. Number two style trend you should be jumping on for 2020 is going to be Neon. Now Neon already made a loud entrance last year. Towards the end of 2019, Neon already told us, I am going to take charge of 2020. So get ready. Regardless of how you choose to do the style, either in live or in orange, be sure that you are about to steal the show. Now what Neon does is it literally gives you the highlight of your look. And when you're doing Neon, it's very important that you subtle the look. Subtle look here, yeah, so that somehow, somehow, either by a hairspray or by a commercial or by a clean, you don't end up on the shock show. Now mixing Neon with nudes or white is always a go-to direction. And guys, this is a style trend that you want to be a part of in 2020. Rope belt is the way to update and then to upgrade your belt style for 2020. So there was a time where you know the big belt was in trend. We call that the abortion belt. Now abortion belt, they have come, they have gone. The thin belt, they have come, they are gone. Now it's time for us to do the rope belt. And you can actually put this on almost anything, on your casuals, on your evenings, on your red carpet vibe, and you're good to go. Now the beautiful thing about this rope belt is that you, you can actually, you know, put into size, either you're on the the plumpy side, you're slim, you're thick, whichever side you think that your body is having, either the just body or the less body. My dear brother and sister out there, yes, I said brothers, you can actually rock the rope belt and be fabulous in it. Now, Barrett took its own turn and I think we enjoyed every single minute that Barrett was on the fashion scene. But this time around, we have the bucket heart. Now, personally, I love the bucket heart and I feel that for the other guys, Bucket Art is definitely one of the head pieces you want to include in your style because that's already your, you know, I am alternative and fabulous kind of item piece and it should be something that, you know, should top your closet. Now speaking of styles that should top your closet for 2020, it's going to be with disco colors. Now we saw Timini rock a piece of this at the AMVCA's Namini cocktail party and I was like, oh, wowza, this is beautiful. Now colors are a way of saying, I'm in charge, I'm the boss, I understand what's going on. But you see, disco color is a way of saying, I'm in charge, but life is not that hard. I'm in charge, but I flex. I'm in charge, but I'm cool. So it's a vibe, it's a mood, and it's a mood that you want to jump in if you're the color type, or you're the corporate type, or you're the type, shada ya type, or type B jam is jam. The most important thing is that when you write that jam exam, you come out in flying colors, aka slaying style. 
finally guys i as a girl i couldn't wait for big bags to be back in trend i'm that kind of girl that moves around with a lot of things i always have my mini makeup purse my daughter my sunglasses with case because i cannot afford for it to go break cage so now the small bags were giving me like a headache the mini tools were giving me a headache and i'm like oh my god i want to look stylish so for those that actually really know me personally they will tell you that i'm having two bags inside of my car number one bag that i want to carry when i step down to, to that fanning then there's my standard bag inside the car that has every other thing so ladies and gentlemen and for the girls out there that loves the big bags just like more big bags are back in trend aren't you just excited <music> One trend you should be happy about is the buttery leather trend. Now let me tell you something about leathers. I know that you're already thinking about your mind, but inside of this, it's <laughs> me why don't let why worry. Whoa, when they say something is plenty, yeah, yeah. Is this this it this condition? This is that we are inside in Nigeria now. That's what they do talk about. Kilori Okay, back to the style trend. Now, so guys, leather could be done in different ways, and leather actually comes in different textures. So when you air leather, it doesn't necessarily mean oh it has to be you know thick or something you can't breathe in. It comes in different textures, as I've initially mentioned. But this is a trick for doing leather in Nigeria mix with something else you know the way you have dresses that has a touch of velvet or a dress that has a touch of sequin that's how you can infuse leather into your style now Tony Lawani had a first day and then she had a leather bodysuit into jumpsuit and I think that's beautiful so I can rock that bodysuit and then you know have another kind of fabric as the pant or as the skirt and I will be fashion conscious, <laughs> weather conscious and at the same time extremely extremely stylish <music> Finally guys, on things that you need to put in that closet to help your game of style for 2020 is going to be tangerines. Now, burnt orange has been in trend for so long, which means burnt orange and tangerine, they're about the same shade, like brother and sister, just like maybe tangerine is face burn, then burnt orange is second burn, always share where you want to position them, it didn't affect the wig. But what I'm trying to say now is this color is a color that it's just everything. Now, Bimbo Ademoye had burnt orange in metallic to the AMV series in Amini's cocktail party, and it was beautiful. So now, burnt orange and tangerine is like the new direction for 2020, and if you are yet to try this color, I think you are missing out. And you know, the good thing about this color is it's not, it's not knowing sex. It's not discriminating whether you are masculine or you are feminine. It's just about finding the right shade and the right tone for your skin. So guys, that's all I have for you on you know fashion tips to up that fashion style to up that trend to up that closet to up your personal style literally i just want you guys to look amazing all of the time no like you always do like my video subscribe to my channel share it to your friends and your family and you know even if your grandpa is having instagram oh my dear so i could tag you won't let him see it what makes a girl complete if she doesn't have an amazing nice Lush. Should I go on? Are you jealous already? Don't be jealous. I've told you before, but you didn't used to hear word on time. My hair is from Lola Express Hair. If you want it, you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching today. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.